All right, let's jump over to the wide receiver position. Who are you firing up in your lineups this weekend? I like Michael Pittman, and it doesn't really matter who the quarterback is. Anthony Richardson was banged up last week with the concussion. Gardner Minshew could be the starter. For me, it doesn't matter. Look at the matchup against the Ravens. Uh, this is a very, very uh, vulnerable pass defense. Let's put it that way. They have allowed 11 plus fantasy points to four wide receivers in the first two weeks, including almost 30 points to T. Higgins last week. So I'm starting Michael Pittman as a wide receiver to flex. And I'm also going to start Zay Flowers. Last week, Kane came back down to earth, only had 10 points. But OBJ is dealing with an injury. He's got an ankle. He's a little bit banged up. I like the matchup against the Colts. They've allowed 13 or more fantasy points to five different wide receivers in two games. So start Zay Flowers. And who are you sitting at the wide receiver position? I don't like Christian Kirk this week. And, and I listen, I get it. He had a huge game last week, but this is going to be the Jaguars wide receivers. One week they'll be good. The next week, not so much. And I get it. The Texans defense, you may look at it and think it's just a great matchup. It's actually not. They've been very tough on slot receivers. And last year, Christian Kirk scored 6.2 combined points in two games against Houston. So beware Christian Kirk and then beware Cortland Sutton. Uh, his numbers haven't been terrible uh, over the first couple of weeks. Second half of last week, he had a lot of targets. But I don't love the matchup against the Miami Dolphins. Uh, they haven't allowed more than 14.2 fantasy points to a wide receiver this season. Now, Denver could be playing from behind. That could be good for Cortland Sutton. But ultimately, the matchup's not great. He's a risk-reward flex at best.